What's up guys, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot. Today I've got a video for you regarding a problem I've had with the Windows Hyper-V Manager. If you were to go into one of your virtual machines, open it up, go to Start or Connect, you might see this error over here. The application encountered an error while attempting to change the state of virtual machine. Virtual machine, the name, could not be started because the hypervisor is not running. Go to See Details, you'll see that it failed to start, etc, etc, and it will give you this information down here. So obviously, if we've got the hypervisors to work before, then it probably isn't something to do with your BIOS. However, if you recently updated or changed a couple of settings, that may be one of the issues, but today we'll be running through a couple of fixes that may be able to help you. So first of all, let's go ahead and hold Start and press R, and then type in services.msc and hit Enter. This window will pop up, I'll simply sort it by name, and click anywhere, type in Hyper, and we'll automatically be taken to the Hyper-V listings. And what we're going to look for is the Hyper-V Virtual Machine and Management. Now, of course, if this is running, you can go ahead and try stop it and start it again. And make sure it's set a startup type automatic. If we go back to the Hyper-V Manager, try to connect again, you might still get the error. So the next thing is, we'll press start and type in CMD. Right click, run as admin. Then we'll go ahead and type in a BCD edit space slash set space hypervisor launch type space auto hit enter and now we've set it to automatically launch so if you've done this and the previous setting was set to automatic what we need to do is simply restart and check to see if it's working however once you restart and try to see if it's working again if you're still having issues then it may be something to do with your bios make sure that you have virtualization and the other technology is required to run hyper v enabled of course, I won't be able to show you where that is because A, I can't record it, and B, it'll be different for everyone and every different kind of motherboard. So I'm going to go ahead and restart and see if that fixes it. And after a quick restart, let's go ahead and open up Hyper-V, double-click on our machine, start. And as you can see, it says start succeeded. Now, obviously, if yours doesn't start, then you may have other issues. In fact, in between restarting my PC, I went into the BIOS to double check the settings. And as it turned out, the SVM setting was disabled, which is basically one of AMD's virtualization settings. I'll have an image on the screen. Basically, I just went across to the advanced tab, followed by CPU and scrolled all the way down till I found SVM mode. It was set to disabled. All I needed to do was hit enter and change it to enabled. And that was that, a basic fix. Now this is running properly. Surprisingly, for some reason, the Windows Sandbox seemed to work just fine. However, this didn't seem to run. So I would assume that the Windows Sandbox has a mode where it runs on CPU only. It gives up a lot of performance and other optimizations in turn to run on basically any computer. And that would make sense because that is what the Windows Sandbox is meant to be after all. One of the answers that I came across while making this video was this one on Stack Exchange, which I'll have linked below, as well as a download link to this. It takes us across to the Sys Internals page, and basically they're telling us to check to make sure that our PC can actually run virtualization, and it's actually super simple to do. All you need to do is head across to this link in the description down below, which is Core Info V3 from Microsoft. Simply hit the Download Core Info button, and it'll download a zip. I'll go ahead and drag it into a folder on my desktop just for ease of use, drag and drop it across, close the zip, and you can go ahead and close the web page. Then at the very top, I'll type in CMD and hit enter to open up a command prompt window in this folder. I'll type in C and press tab to select core info. Of course, if you have more files, you'll have to press tab a bunch of times until you get to the correct one. And then all you need to do is space hyphen V, hit enter, and it will tell you if your PC supports these technologies. So when I did this before restarting, hypervisor was a minus, SVM and NP were both stars next to them. So what does that mean? The ones with the minus are currently disabled or not installed. So it said that the hypervisor was not installed or not enabled. So obviously wasn't present. However, the supports AMD hardware assisted virtualization and slat were both present with stars next to them. However, now they've changed to minuses and hypervisor has a star next to it, which is fine by me. I'm only going to be using hypervisor. And as it turns out, when you use hypervisor on Windows 10, it does clash with other programs such as VMware, etc, etc. However, because it comes free with Windows and it's actually really good, I don't mind using this instead of those other softwares. And I don't mind having to restart my PC, disabling one of the settings in the BIOS to get back to running the other programs if I ever get around to using them. I hope this video helped you in at least one way or another. Of course, if it doesn't, I'd highly recommend Googling for an answer to your 
question, but that's about it. My name has been Technoba here for Troubleshoot. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Ciao.